Are you feeling like Shopify might be overkill for your business? Maybe you're paying for a bunch of features you never use, or you just want more creative control without having to mess around with coding. If that sounds like you, it might be time to check out Wix. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't Wix for simple websites? Well, not anymore. Wix has really stepped up its game, and it could be the perfect fit if you're looking for something more flexible, easier to use, and friendlier on the wallet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the switch from Shopify to Wix, step by step. Now, don't get me wrong, Shopify is a powerhouse when it comes to e-commerce, but if you're after more creative freedom and lower costs, Wix might just be the better option for you. So let's dive in and see if making the switch is the right move for your business. All right, let's kick things off by exporting your products from Shopify. First, head to your Shopify dashboard and click on products in the left-hand sidebar. From there, you can bulk select the products you'd like to export. Once your selection is made, click the export button at the top of the page. A modal will pop up, allowing you to choose whether to export all products or just a specific selection. Pick whichever option suits your needs and then click export products. Shopify will then send a CSV file with all your product data directly to your email. Now that you've exported your products, it's time to export your customer data, just like before. Head to your Shopify dashboard and click on customers from the left-hand sidebar. From there, bulk select the customers you'd like to export and click the export button in the top right corner. A modal will appear, giving you a few options. Here, you can choose to export all your customers or just a specific selection. You can also decide whether or not to include meta fields and customer tags. Once you've made your selections, click Export Customers. Shopify will then send a file with your customer data directly to your email, just like it did with your products. Now that you've got your CSV files, it's time to align them with Wix's format. Wix provides a specific template for importing both customers and products. And don't worry, we've added the links to these templates in the video description. The CSV you exported from Shopify won't match Wix's template exactly, so you'll need to map the fields. The easiest way to do this is by opening both the Shopify CSV file and the Wix template in a split screen setup. This way, you can compare the columns side by side and manually copy the data from the Shopify file into the corresponding fields in the Wix template. It can be a bit time consuming, but this step is crucial to make sure your products and customer data import correctly into Wix. Trust me, taking the time to do this properly will save you from potential headaches later on. Now that we've adjusted the CSV file, it's time to import your products into Wix. From the right sidebar on your Wix dashboard, go to Catalog, then Store Products, and click on Products. This will take you to the Products page. In the top right corner, click on More Actions and choose Import. A modal will pop up, offering you the option to download a template or upload your product CSV. Since we've already adjusted and mapped the file in the previous step, you can skip the template download and go straight to uploading the CSV file you just prepared. Once the file is uploaded, let it load and click Continue. If everything is mapped correctly, Wix will display the number of products that will be imported or updated. Take a moment to review this summary, and when you're satisfied, click Import Products. Wix will handle the rest, and within a couple of minutes, all your products will be imported into your store, complete with pricing, collections, inventory, and more. Once the import is done, take your time to preview the products in Wix to ensure everything transferred smoothly. Now that we've handled your products, it's time to import your customer data into Wix from your Wix dashboard. Go to the right sidebar and click on Customers and Leads, then select Contacts. This will take you to the Contacts page where all your customers and members will be listed. In the top right corner, click on Import Export, then select Import Contacts. Wix will give you the option to connect your Google account to import all your Gmail contacts. Since we'll be importing products from Shopify, we'll skip the Gmail connection and choose the CSV upload option. Wix will guide you through a setup process. Since we've already mapped the fields in step three of this video and don't need to prepare a CSV import file, you can skip the first part of the setup and simply click Next. Now, upload the CSV file containing your customer data that we adjusted earlier. 
Once uploaded, Wix will ask if you'd like to mark these customers as email subscribers. If you've obtained their consent, check the box, which will automatically add them to your email marketing list. This would allow you to send marketing emails directly from Wix. Click Next, and you'll see a few optional steps like mapping fields or adding contact labels. Since we've already handled the mapping, you can skip these steps. Now, give Wix a couple of minutes to process the import, and your customer data will be added to your store. Once the import is complete, double check everything to ensure your customers have been successfully added and that all the data is correct. And that's it. Congratulations. You've successfully completed your migration from Shopify to Wix. Now you're all set to take full advantage of Wix's design freedom and all the tools it offers to help grow your business to new heights. But before you go, we want to let you in on something important. If you need extra help with your migration, we're here for you. Whether you run into challenges with your specific store or just want a more hands-off approach, our team is here to assist you every step of the way with our store migration service. Just check out the link in the description below to get in touch and let us know about your project. We'll be more than happy to help you get set up. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more e-commerce tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.